let's look at Twitter card validator. I'm gonna search for Twitter card validator. So this used to be a great thing. If you put a website URL here, it'll preview what it'll look like if you share this URL on Twitter. But it has moved now. It has moved to Tweet Composer. So let's go to Tweet Composer. It's nothing but uh, it just says that, you know, like uh, the preview has been removed. What you need to do is go to Twitter. So this is my Twitter and type your URL here. If you type any URL here, it will display what it will look like. So this is the card that it looks like. On one hand, it is good because now you know exactly what it's going to look like. In the earlier case, if there was a bug, the card validator will show you one thing, but when you post that link, it will show something else. That was a problem. And I think um, this is why Elon Musk made this decision that instead of fixing those bugs, we can simply scrape that. This works as good as the card validator, and this is actually better. However, if you do not like to log into your account, then this is a problem. I mean, record post is the solution. If you want to preview how your URL is going to look like, on different platforms, then you can simply go to record post and uh, try our preview. You type in the URL and it will show you what it looks like on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, everywhere. Um, so this is how card validator works. In this case, if you see, I have a large image displaying here, my URL that I typed, uh, title of my page and the description. If we go to this page, um, which is our website, here, um, if I show you the source, you'll see that for Twitter, these are the um, values that I set. So Twitter card is summary large image, and this actually affects what your card is going to be like. It could just be a summary card, in which case it will show a small image on the left side of your preview. Um, title, what title will show up on Twitter? In my case, right now, it's the same across Facebook and Twitter, but if you want to customize it, you can. You should not because it's a lot of work, uh, but you can if you want to. Description, the one that is going to show up. Again, it, in my case, it's the same image that you want to display on your Twitter and then the username or the handle um, your Twitter handle so if you put these things in and you share your URL on Twitter it will use this information to display uh, your, your card there are a bunch of cards there are multiple types of cards um, if you're interested you can find them at our blog But again, like I said, um, some regard is a small image, some regard with large images, what I showed you earlier. A product card will display um, your product. If you are an e-commerce business, it helps you um, showcase a particular product in a way you want with its pricing and even a buy button, etc. App card is if you are um, an app review website or you have your own app that you want to promote. So sharing a particular location uh, URL should show your app, then you use an app card. So these are different types of cards. So even though the card validator is gone, you can still use Tweet Composer to preview what they look like. I hope this helps you. Um, if you have any questions, drop a comment and I will answer. Thank you. Bye for now.